Peter Jackson joins me fresh off the plane. Investor Day today. I, the big story for me in the release that you've filed, your AK this morning, is the $5 billion share buy buyback at a time when investors are pressuring your competitors to show consistent profitability. You're in growth mode. You're investing in and launching new markets around the world. Why was now the right time to demonstrate that sort of commitment to returning capital to shareholders. Good morning, Tessa. It's lovely to see you. And we have got our investor day this afternoon, and I've never been more excited about the business and the prospects that we have ahead of us. You know, at Flutter, we own Fangel, the number one business here in the US for sports betting and iGaming. We're growing very fast, and actually, we're pulling away from our competition. But it's not just that, we're also number one globally. Right? You know, we have the leading position in a very large and fragmented market globally, and we're performing faster than the market there. You know, historically, we've invested a lot in our business organically, um, but we've also been pursuing M&A, and we've announced our share buyback. And that's off the back of us. You know, we'll do around $14 billion of revenue this year, and we expect that to grow to $21 billion by 2027. With a 25% EBITDA margin, it will facilitate that big share buyback, together with you know, continued investment organically and our M&A. Part of the reason why the whole group is up is because you issued new estimates for the total addressable market one and a half times greater than your previous estimates for U.S. TAM of $63 billion. Globally, I'm looking at this, uh, you know, more than, uh, it's almost $400 billion in the regulated markets alone. So that, that cuts out gray markets. Tell us how you get there and how do you take advantage of that greater total addressable market in trying to maintain your market share lead. Yeah, you're right. So the, you know, we, we are forecasting that the addressable market in North America will be around $70 billion, and it's about $300 billion outside of America. It, what's really important is you know, we have the best product and the best pricing for Fangio, and that's why we're winning, and that's helping us grow the market. So you know, average player values are increasing, and that's really helpful for us in terms of boosting that, that TAM. Outside of America, we're seeing countries regulate, like Brazil. We're also seeing people switch from retail to online, and online penetration is growing, and that's what's supporting the $300 billion we see outside of America. Yeah, it's interesting. When you look at your market cap, it's now greater than Las Vegas Sand. It's greater than MGM Resorts, Caesars, and Wynn put together. So you're making great strides on that front. The interesting thing is that bricks and mortar casinos, the, the profit margins have been far greater than the sports betting operators, but you're talking about even your profit margins increasing. Yeah, look, we expect that the, you know, with the growth that we're seeing in, in revenue, so from 14 billion this year to 21 billion by 2027, we should get to an EBITDA margin of around 25%. Scale helps us. Yeah, but we've got the best product for customers, the best pricing for, for customers here in America, and we're pulling away from our competitors, and that's what's supporting the business.